Republican yeah, senators yeah, yeah. are working to rush through their version of a health care bill that would repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. They don't want anybody to know what's in the bill. Lawmakers on both sides say they're annoyed with how this whole thing is going down. The White House, uh, they're letting Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell drive the whole process. And he's like, look, we've been talking about this thing for seven years. We don't need to have meetings. What meetings? What conversation? What's wrong with y'all? We don't need any of that sort of stuff. Uh, but again, of course, uh, but again, uh, McCain's not happy, but let's hear first from McConnell. <laughs> well, we've been discussing all the elements of this endlessly for seven years. <clears throat> Everybody pretty well understands it. Everybody will have an adequate time to take a look at it. Uh, I think this will be as, about as transparent as it could be. What the hell? <laughs> Sarah John McCain. To complain like hell when the Democrats ran the Affordable Care Act. Now they're, they're doing the same thing. And, of course, uh, Press Secretary Sean Spicer, I think he still has a job, uh, he <laughs> says the president will love a bill that has heart. I mean, the president clearly wants a bill that has heart in it. Um, he believes that uh, health care is something that is near and dear to so many families and individuals. Um, he made it clear from the beginning that those, that was one of his priorities. And as the Senate works its way through this bill, as the House did, um, any ideas are welcome to strengthen it, to make it more affordable, more accessible, and deliver the care that it needs. All right, y'all, let's go back to our panel real quick here. So, right now, y'all can't show the bill. Y'all scared? Y'all scared to show the bill? Because you scared to see what happened in the House when the bill got actually released and they had those town halls kicking they behind? Mitch McConnell is a hypocrite and he's gutless and he's a weasel. He sat there and condemned Democrats when even though there was a 15-month debate on health care, there have been no hearings, no amendments, and he won't even commit to 10 hours of debate. How much of a wimp is that? All right, Roland. Weak people take strong positions on weak issues. I don't care about all the machinations of how this le legislation is put together. The bottom line is, what is the end result Senator of Mike deliberation? Lee is, Senator Mike Lee is on the House uh, study group that's supposed to be drawing this bill up, 13 right. members. He doesn't even know. It doesn't or, matter. So seen it yet. If it's a good bill, it's not. The, you don't know. You Wait haven't seen it. It's not a, It's point. not a good bill when you're scared to show the American people. That's not it's true. not a good bill when you're scared to let other Republicans see it. You know doggone well, if it was a good bill, Rolling. they have no problem NBA saying, here you don't go. don't let That's you right. enter that practice before it made the game. That doesn't mean they're not okay. going to have a good so game. Hold on, hold on. So using your analogy, you're saying that, because uh, you said NBA teams, so you're saying other Republicans, they're the enemy? Yeah, yeah, with these leaks. Yeah, yeah no, there's no question. Well, they are. Well, no, question. Well, no, really, well, this isn't about health care. This is about, of course, the tax cut. They're trying right. to get these billionaires some more right. money. When Mike Lee, as you said, an arch conservative in Utah, says, I haven't seen it, one of the details that has seen leaked out is this $45 billion over 10 years. They're trying to get this opioid money in because white folks are on drugs. Now you see the, the people like Lisa Murkowski in Alaska saying, wait a minute, y'all came in. And you see uh, Collins from Maine saying, well, that may not be enough. Man. Bottom line is this, brother. This is a tax cut for the rich. And you're right. They don't care about the rest of the Republicans. Mitch McConnell is in the pocket of these billionaires, and they're going to wreck this come democracy. On, come on, Scott. And you can defend them if you come want, on, brother, because you ain't going to get into that money. Right, right now, right right now making me ashy. Come on. <laughs> come on. Scott, go ahead. Uh, okay. The thing to watch in this bill when it comes out, if it ever comes out, is how much of the Medicaid expansion <laughs> is going to stay in. The moderate senators, Republicans, and from, from states that need that Medicare, Medicaid expansion, uh, they're going to fight for that. The thing is, it's going to be a very different bill. They're going to have to go to conference. And I'll be honest with you, we may never get a health care bill out and Obamacare will live because we know 80 percent prefer Obamacare to whatever else has come Obamacare out of the uh, is, House is, and Senate is, is right now. Oh. Oh. Republicans oh. What Republicans oh. should have done is let it self-destruct. They're oh. coming in to be the savior of it. Obamacare is a market for the insurance companies. That's why the Seven. insurance companies are pulling out. Bring it down. Stop okay. it. In. That's right. Seven. Stop Seven. it. 17 percent of the American people likes the Republican health care bill. You will roll. You Seven know, don't deal with the country coming apart. Okay. Though, all right. Or they all right. Republicans all right. are killing Obamacare. Okay. Stop uh, it. Stop 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 it.
and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. We will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.